Hi, Internet and Melly. I'm Casey. This is 25 and 52. And this is a forest. Okay, so it's not exactly a forest, and I probably don't need to wear my sunglasses in here. Um, this is a little grove of trees, redwood trees, big, big trees, that is on the UC Berkeley campus. I walk through here um, like every Monday and Thursday on my way home from class. Uh, not on the other days because I take buses but on the other days. But anyway, um, I was kind of doing my things for the day in chunks on my path from school to home. So I was at school and I went to class and I had a choir practice and then I moved a little away from school and had lunch and now I'm a little further from school and I'm here and I'm making a video and then I'll go to the grocery store and then I'll go home. Hooray! So, yesterday, before I went to work, I went into the city and had lunch with Felix, and I went to the Contemporary Jewish Museum, or Jewish Contemporary Museum, Contemporary Jewish Museum, one of those. I went there, and I saw an exhibit from the San Francisco Museum of Contemporary Art, which is currently closed for renovation because why would I ever live in a city or near a city where the art museum wasn't under construction? And this exhibit that I saw was about spirituality in modern art, and as I'm sure you know, those two things are kind of my jam. I dig on that stuff. So I thought it was really amazing, and I had a number of really, like, important feeling moments with paintings was nice for me. Um, modern art, abstract, weird stuff does things for me in a way that I've never found realism in painting to have much luck at. Like, I like art from Impressionism outward, and Impressionism is even a little like, eh, I could, you know, do without it, but when it gets weird, is where I like it when you can feel stuff through the brush strokes and the thickness of the paint and the colors and I really like it was really a resonant exhibit for me and I was really glad to be able to be there um, I was a little frustrated by some unimportant stuff like people being loud like people being loud in museums because I'm I'm a jerk like that, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I had a really wonderful experience, and it was really interesting to me particularly to read a lot of the stuff that they had available, information about the, the painters and how they felt about their paintings and their work. Um, even, you know, some of them who were not, probably wouldn't have identified themselves as particularly religious, um, at least not initially, like Rothko, for example, like there's a definite spiritual element to his paintings and that sort of like color field stuff works for me really well. I don't totally know why. There was a painting that was like just, oh God, it was great. It, was just, it wasn't Rothko, but it was, there were colors around the edges and a big white space in the middle that was kind of to represent the, the nothingness that you try to, think about when you meditate, and there were colors around the edges, and it was just ridiculously powerful for me, and um, there was a big Rothko that was great. But anyway, um, at the entrance of the exhibit, there were quotes on the walls, as art museums often do, and one of them said, the most important tool the artist fashions through constant practice is faith in his ability to produce miracles when they are needed. It's Marco Rothko. And I kind of stood and stared at that, and I took a picture of it, which is what I was just reading that off of, because I wanted to keep that with me. And it kind of relates to something that I've been doing in my life and in class lately. I think I told you last week about, in my liturgy class, we had half an hour to come up with a service, and then we you know, presented the service to the other members of the class. We did this in groups. And um, today, the professor said, oh, you know, that way, 
on the day when everything does go wrong, you're like, all right, I can do this. Um, and it's that, it's that ability to produce miracles when they're needed, um, to have the communicative, communicative tools to get what you're trying to get out, out. So, I don't know. I'm sitting here looking at trees and thinking about miracles. Hashtag seminary. Did you know that it's October? Did you know that it's, like, two weeks until I see you? Do you know how exciting that is? I love you.